now, Dina. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer you, wolf. What's up, guys? Bearded here with another episode of Life is Strange. Now, <clears throat> sorry, I am a little bit confused <clears throat> as to what to do. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Uh, can we speak to her again? Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. All right, relax. Jesus. Uh, board showers. We can't go in there. What the hell is this? Toilet paper. Look. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Okay. Seriously? At least that's an alarm from this century. Oh, I thought we were going to pull it again. Um... <laughs> Come on, what what do I need to do here? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Victoria's room. Oh, wait. I thought we had to go into the other room. Oh, okay, I guess this okay. <laughs> uh well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Uh, dear Miss Chase, thank you for some for your submission to the craft gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Best, Amanda Croft. Oh, Croft, not Craft. <laughs> uh, owner, Croft Gallery, Eugene, Oregon. Uh, oops, uh, I don't know. Camera. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. That's right. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. The hell? Jump into the 22nd century, 22nd century, with the Tezuka 3D desktop printer. Design and produce your vision. Order today, be prepared for tomorrow. 3600 bucks, really? Like, I mean, I know they're expensive, but why? Like, I mean, why, why would you, what's the point in getting one? Unless you're like, absolutely rich and you, you just doing it for the hell of it. Where the heck is this tape thing that we're looking for? Is it here? That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I've never watched that one. Dior, Givenchy. You could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Victoria's room, photos, mess up. Speaking of selfies, 
Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a <laughs> pattern is emerging. Take a photo. The way she like poses whenever she takes a photo. Uh, which one is it? Uh, oh, it's this one here. <laughs> um, so I guess that's teacher, broken skateboard, bird, a squirrel drinking cola, sunset, a football breaking glass, I guess. And I I don't know if that's the teacher. Can't be. But where? Didn't we come in here to look for what's it called? Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. <laughs> no. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Oh wait, is it here? Is yes, it? Victoria has the best Retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? She's going way out of their way to <clears throat> going. How do I say that? Basically, they're being Boom. bullies. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. So sad to inform her that I totally punctured her. And now all I had to do was mention Juliet. Then I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, okay. Print email. That looks like some pretty crinkled up paper. What did that say? Oh, missing persons poster. Uh, didn't I just see the printer? Oh, here it is. Take. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Okay, let's go break up this cat fight. Ugh. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay, so I was right. It is It is this room. Uh, let's walk Almost in, I guess. Done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. I was gonna say, are you guys doing drugs? But no, that's like nail polish and stuff. Um, desk, 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 desk over here. Flash drive, take. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Eh? <laughs> Is there anything that we can take a picture of in here? I don't think so. Let's just go. What do we do with this now? <laughs> oh, uh, text message. Oh, we gotta click here. I was like trying to scroll. Um, my God, see. Oh, wait, what is this? Sir, any late? Let me get in the lot. I can clearly see on the camera. Ready to see shortly? I hope so. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. Stop being a jerk. I'm not a jerk, but whatever. Uh, the more I text, the longer I take on my way. Bye. Okay, so we have to go back to him. Fuck oh. this shit. Ow! That hurt! 
Damn, I better rewind. The hell just happened there? Oh, I pressed tab. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Uh... Get lost, hipster. I'm fuck this shit. Ow. Okay. The frick. Okay, so I see what we have to do now. Uh, da, 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 da. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Okay, where's the football? Uh, I want to take a picture. Sprinkler. Where is the football? Here's the broken glass. Oh, I see. Just take a picture of that. Oh, I see. So it gives you hints? Because before it showed a football with broken glass, now it shows the like the picture we just took. Okay, that's weird. So I, I think they are hints. And we got a text. Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pick. It's your last one. Alright. Uh, um, I think we watched this. Or watched. I think we read this. Uh, I'll just start from here, I guess. Um... Wait, no, it's... Okay, whatever. Uh, what the fluff? Alright. Once I gave Juliet the proof that Victoria was behind it all, I went to get Warren's flash drive from Dana. She was in a weird mood, but she said nasty things about Victoria, and I think it definitely made her feel better. We talked about Warren and Dana... Uh, implied... Wait. We talked about Warren and Dana implied he likes me. Ew. Eh? We talked about Warren... Oh, I see. We talked about Warren, and Dana implied he likes me. I see, I see, I see. Again? No, it's the same one. Alright, let's get going. Aren't we all hipsters, technically? I mean... I don't even really look like a hipster, but... Whatever. I need to go to the parking lot. What the hell am I doing? So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo. Yeah. Intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. And I'll remember you. We'll all remember each other. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. And... Maybe. Oh. Damn it. Uh, I wanted to see the different consequences, but it's too late now. I hate myself. But seriously, what would have taken a photo done? It's, yeah, it's saving now, we can't really... There's a squirrel. I've seen the I'm RV. I'm glad I stepped in that time. 
can't so, stand to see people being bullied. Let's see what there is to take a picture of before we go. Oh, a dog. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. Cujo? What is there? Look, draw. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. Photo. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Now that I know these hints, it's like so... Not easy, but... Focal point. Focal pointed. I got an achievement, apparently. Uh, oh god, there's more. Wait, did I miss anything back here? Oh, damn. Uh, I, I'm gonna quickly read this, because I missed it. Um, more high school drama. Julia won't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexing Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything. And since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Julia told me Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and onto her laptop and found out that she was indeed lying through her ass, just to, lying through her ass, just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop. I would too. Uh, I'm starting to get the hang of the whole rewind thing. I don't want to waste this power, but there has to be a reason it was given to me. So I better learn how to use it right. I started by saving Alyssa from getting a football-fueled headshot. I admit I... It's kind of being blocked there, but I, I admit it felt amazing uh, just to help Alyssa with something as simple as that. I also saw David Madsen hassling Kate Marsh. I couldn't hear anything, everything, but he was accusing her of something. All that guy can do is point fingers. I got so pissed I went over to stop him from being such a bully. Uh, he's a security guard, not a stormtrooper. My nose is bothering me, I'm sorry guys. Yeah. He was an asshole, as usual. But I felt good about uh, what I did, and Kate seemed truly happy that somebody stood up for her. And I did what I did that without using my rewind power. And picture... Yeah, before it wasn't the RV, now that's there. So... Now there's going to be something to do with a sunset in the ocean, a bird, a squirrel drinking cola, whoever that is, and a skate broken skateboard. Uh, go back. Okay, missing person's poster. Let's just go talk to Warren. Max, get your ass over here. Relax. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. I just noticed there's a no bird problem. on the hood there. I hope that wasn't a picture. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. Old 1978 school to be exact. Holy. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Oh, okay. Uh... No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. Exactly. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. <laughs> ha ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it no fucking way? No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch. That sounds awful the way you say it. Eh? No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white, plus babes with breasts. 
Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Uh, sure, let's talk about it. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal. Now! Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No! You told him I had a gun! That's why he dragged me into his office! And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! God damn. Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore in the bathroom! <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses past there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Jesus, look at we're gonna hit something. Classic Elvis. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This Tane's Tane never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Broken. Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. 
Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. That is a pretty old truck. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Hmm. Oh, there's the bird. And he flew away. Is this just like one big cutscene? Or? My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Oh god. Well guys, I think I'm going to end it here. So, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.